Hi there, I'm Lisa, I'm the Ukulele Fool, and this is the third unit of the New to Uke series, Learning the G Chord. If you haven't caught those other two units, I've got links down below. If you're ready to go, let's get started on learning the new chord. What G looks like in a diagram. Let's take it from the diagram to real life, up close and personal. You need your third fret. One, two, three. And your ring finger is going to go on your E string, that's the second string from the bottom, the third fret. Then your middle finger catches the A string in the second fret and your index finger has to reach over to the C string in the second fret. Because it has three fingers, that makes it more challenging than the F and C that we've already learned. But you gotta have this G chord to be a ukulele player. All right, make sure that all those strings sound nicely. Remember, if it's not, maybe you need to press a little harder, or have you got a lazy finger that's falling on another, a string and making it sound muted? The most likely candidate for that would be um, your ring finger falling over and catching your A string, yeah. So if you've got that buzz, that's probably what it is. All right, play around, feel comfortable with that. Yeah, once you feel comfortable with that, then hit play again on this video and we'll go back and learn how to switch between G and C. To make the change from a C chord to the G chord, an important part to remember is that you don't have to get there all at once. When you're playing your C chord, what you'll be doing is taking these two fingers, peace, and you'll be moving them in position first. So your middle finger and your index finger get in position on that second fret on the A and C string, and then move over your ring finger just going from one string to the next. So it, it's a, you make the, it's kind of like um, walking. You don't, both feet don't leave the ground when you're taking a step, one foot, then the other. And it's the same thing with changing chords, one or two fingers and then the other. So in this case, these two fingers come down and then your ring finger moves over. When you're on the G and making the switch to C, keep these two fingers as an anchor and lift them up once you reach the third fret on the A string. So again, you're on the G, you move your ring finger, and then the other two come up. So that's how you make the transition. Practice that a few times, feeling like you're comfortable, pause this video, then come back and we're going to do some drills with it. Here we go. Part of proving that you can fluently switch between chords is playing with other people because that's a whole lot of fun with the ukulele. So play along with me. We're going to be doing four C's, four beats of rest, four G's, four beats of rest, and repeat. Are you ready? Here we go. Get your C ready. And one, two, ready, begin. C. this again if you need more practice with that much rest. If not, let's move on and let's reduce the amount of rest to just two beats. Are you ready? One, 
to start on C. C, two, three, four, switch. And G, two, three, four, switch. And C, two, three, four, switch. And G, two, three, four, switch. And C, two, three, four, switch. And G, two, three, four, switch. And C, two, three, four, switch. And G, two, three, four, switch. And C, two, three, four, switch. And G, two, three, four, switch. And When you're ready to move on, let's reduce the amount of rest to just one beat. Start in C. One, two, here we go. Pause if you have to do any rewinding. The next level is no rest in between. Are you ready? One, two, here we go. Again, repeating as much as you need to to make sure that you're nice and fluent, that you can keep that with a rhythmic certainty. Here's the last challenge on this switching from C to G skills drill. Let's do it on the cowboy strum. We're going to do four cowboy strums instead of just four down strokes. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, one, two, here we go. If you can do this and keep up with me, then you're ready for the next video where we're going to start learning it with a song. See you in the next video.